Hey, hey, everybody, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Chris, and today we'll be checking out two designs that I made somewhat recently. And the first is the B36 Peacemaker and the Goblin for short. So let's check out the Peacemaker because the Peacemaker has the Goblin attached to it. Let me see. There we go. See? Goblin? Peacemaker. <laughs> it doesn't look good at all. Sorry for my terrible laugh. Yeah, okay, so we're using two mods today. The Fire Spitter mod and the Procedural Wings mod. I think that's what it's called. Uh, I'm fairly sure it's Procedural Wings mod. Uh, there is a... I was looking for a mod with some sort of long wheels, long gear bays, but there's nothing that's very long at all and that's why i've had to do this very ugly looking thing <laughs> and uh also that's the same thing applies back here you also notice in the front the peacemaker has some unusual cockpit seems to have the cockpit up here down here and some other stuff underneath but i don't really care about that stuff the these wings here are from the procedural wings mod as i mentioned you can change the thickness it's a pretty cool mod I have to admit, this is the first time I've ever used it before. And I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. And the Fire Spitter mod, which we're using, seems to have some issues with the current version of KSP. Perhaps it needs updating. Don't know. Uh, the, so every now and then, the cargo bay, this specific cargo bay, uh, will lose its, its texture. I think it's somewhat temporarily, and it will just be perfectly white. Why is beyond me. Yeah, and also you won't be able to see the animation of the propeller. Uh, so let's just launch this. I, uh, I did try launching it before and it failed miserably in, and not in the way you think, like it didn't crash or anything. It was somewhat, it was an airborne thing. Uh, okay, well it flies relatively well. I've had to use some, if we can take a look. Uh, okay, terrible positioning. There we go. Uh, those, these black lines here, these are the Control surfaces for the pitch. Eh. Yeah, okay, yeah. Because <laughs> the pitch was kind of low. And without talking anymore. Full throttle, obviously. This cargo bay is virtually useless because the goblin is too big for it. <laughs> it's it's so bad. Oh, man. Okay, but I should be able to lift off so, pretty soon. Yeah, here we go. I have a wheel back there just to ensure that... The back of the plane doesn't hit the ground. G to retract the ugly ass wheels that we have today. Perhaps I'll screenshot this. Oof, yes, very nice. Very nice. Uh, there we go, screenshot. Okay, whatever. Uh, this is obviously a low altitude flying plane. And you can we'll check everything. You see the pitch is not bad. The roll. Roll is pretty good. The yaw. The ore fails miserably. <laughs> Don't worry about the ore. The only thing we have for the ore is basically this thing here to help control it. Uh, what's that down there? Oh, that's from last video, I think. Subscriber designs. Our next video on the channel, we'll be doing some more Space Engineers. There'll be Space Engineers Episode 3 survival thing that we're doing. All right, anyways, let's launch that goblin, shall we? <laughs> this is going to be funny. You know what? I'll turn off the engines. Let's go horizontal. Spacebar. Oh, it actually did pretty good. Alright. Okay, this is a problem. Oh, no. Why? Do I not have control? Huh? Lift off. Yay. <laughs> well, I've added a generator to the goblin there. Let's see if this makes it. Let's go a little higher, actually. Come on. Just for safety. I also want the engine of the goblin to turn on when it gets decoupled from this peacemaker. I'll have to adjust that later on with the staging. Alright, that like so. Engine's off, which will mean the peacemaker engine will be off when we deploy it. So, yeah, that kind of happened before when I was testing. How do I troubleshoot that? <laughs> Alright, so it seemed to get, it was propelled away from the Peacemaker. Why was it propelled? Well, simply enough, this wing is inside this other part. Perhaps it's pushing it down 
breaking it. So to fix that, ah, please excuse me for this horribleness. I'm going to have to make the goblin look more ugly and not real. Well, I was just interrupted a few seconds ago and while well, we are back, I figured out what the issue is. Simply put it, there was no air intake for the goblin. Which is why the engine would not turn on. And thus why we could barely control it. Alright, well now we should... Alright, I'm just trying to go straight. Come on. Horizontal. Alright. Maybe we can survive with the engines on. Alright, alright, alright. Whoa. Okay, the decoupler is still attached. Obviously. This is... Seriously? Ah, come on, no crew, oh, oh, are you serious, you gotta be kidding me, <sighs> man, no crew, you said no crew, <sighs> alright, well I've included enough crew members for the goblin, alright, <laughs> oh, so derpy, let's do that, it is going, straight now all right good okay kind of got pushed off all right finally ah uh, the good the coupler it's still there gotta get around that hmm all right whatever leave that there for now maybe i'll work on it later on but this let's see how good it is i don't remember it being very good at flying maybe we can hit the peacemaker do 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 do, do. which one's faster damn we're like, are we going up or is the peacemaker going down <laughs> Oh no. Come on. We can do it. I will catch up to you, my enemy. Well, the piece. This uh, goblin is meant to be a bomber, so I suppose. <laughs> yeah, you got me. What kind of crash is that? What a crappy bomber. Man, I should have included some weapons. <laughs> it's too late. It's too late. Alright, and. The peacemaker is still relatively. Controllable without the goblin to weigh it down. All right, good enough, I think. Well, I'll just fix up the minor issues with the goblin, so that the coupler no longer appears. Or maybe I'll leave it if I cannot fix it, or if I'm too busy. But anywho, if you guys want to try this out, links in the description. Fly around. I actually quite enjoyed messing around with the procedural wings mod. Pretty good mod. Pretty good. And of course the spy fire <laughs> fire spitter mod as well. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.